in person. Sort of. Uh, you know what I mean. You get to drink? It is Starbucks cold brew uh, oat milk. Dark chocolate. It expires today. I've been drinking a lot of this. <laughs> and chugging this shit. The entire container, which is like... How much? 1.25 quarts, about one and a quarter liters. The whole the whole container is 300 calories. So even though it's like it has like the you know those like um that kind of like slim fast or like I think Soylent has the same consistency where it's like kind of like thick milk. And like, you know anything with that consistency is gonna be super fucking bad for you, but this this is pretty... You know, for 300 calories for the whole container, that's respectful, respectable. And it doesn't taste diet or anything, like, it's still really good. So any... I keep... I keep this on hand for my, like... You know... Weekends, need a, need a coffee, pick me up, but... Don't want to go out. Like, oh yeah, I can just drink some of this shit. This one expires today, so we're, we're drinking it. All right, we're gonna switch the music over from this gorgeous song to this other gorgeous song. What? My execution was almost good. I don't know if I'm too big or if I'm too small. Bigger, uh, smaller. Probably about there. It's pretty good. I don't want to cover up too much of the game. I also want people to be able to see me. Like, oh, that little guy. <laughs> this music's so weird. It's good though. I'm very, I'm very into this. And without further ado. TTR, with your permission, I am ready to begin. Startup stream deck. I gotta rebuild this profile. I had all this sh this shit and like little like soundboard dealios and oh crap, where'd it go? Oh my cable management is fucked up. I'm not fixing that today. Oh my god. Ugh. Comfy bed page. Who's comfy? He's out there having a comfy Sunday. Oh, it's Spike. Oh, thank you very much for the resub. He's much appreciated. Especially on a Sunday. The comfiest of days, but also the rest of a week coming. But it's fine because we're chilling right now. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. The hedgehog dilemma? Is that a real thing? Is that what's. That sounds like it's a thing made up for this game. Like, you know how in 999, once in a while, someone will just be like, Hey, have you heard of the ship of Theseus? Have you heard of morphogenetic, morphogenetic field theory? Amy Rose is just going to be like, Have you heard of the hedgehog dilemma? The famous paradox described by Greek philosopher, blah, blah, blah. Looks like the roller coaster. I oh, can't see my mouse. In the background there. Well, I guess we're a new game. Let's hit it. Oh my god, it's the guy everyone on Twitter likes and wants to... It looks like the... Wasn't there a character... Like, the default character in Sonic Forces? Didn't they look like this or something? 
forgot my name tag. What should my name be? I just want to be warm, but don't want to be stabbed by their spikes, so they gotta be close to each other. How would they even get close to each other at all? It feels like they would the spikes would prevent getting close enough to share body heat. Unless they were like face to face. My sister had a pet hedgehog once, so it was a funny little guy. Just little guys. First people when they want attention, but also time alone. Oh, that's a mood. Oh no, is this there, is there like a Wikipedia thing on this? Is this gonna hit too close to home? I'll cry. Oh my god, it was brought about by a German philosopher. Oh my god. I can't wait for Sonic the Hedgehog to tell us about this. <laughs> Sure. Read my scribble. It's a very scribbly. <laughs> this is a. This isn't scribble. This is like kindergarten. Those big fucking hot dog fingers. Look at this UI. Oh, we're nervous. Working the dining car. That's a... That's a split infinitive, isn't it? Oh my god, who's this scruffy guy? Ask me if I hit myself. Mr. Conductor, sir. Oh no, my character's a bottom. Mr. Conductor, sir, how are you this morning? Quite alright, though feeling a little bittersweet. Oh, should we hit on him? Should we hit on this... this... dilf hunksicle conductor? Should we invite him into back into... into one of these back train closets and... Trying to butter me up on the first day, huh? Today's my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 years, see? I told you! <laughs> Fucking Dilf Conductor. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye. Congrats on retirement, sir. Oh, he's gonna kill Sonic to make a make his last dent like mark on the world. That's cool. Thank you, my wife is very excited about it. See, they should have let me correct the editing. I, I would have gone ape shit on this thing. <laughs> He's already got our plane tickets to Spagonia locked. Are you gonna move there? Wait, I didn't. Hold on. Oh, you can't look back over your text. Okay, that'd be nice. He's gonna die. <laughs> our showers went on the fritz, so I'm excited to use the hotels. Fa ha ha. Enough of my quibbles. Today's your first day working the dining car. Here's the menu. Uh-oh. Chili dog ramen and chicken cordon bleu. Ah yes, the three foods. I don't think I need to be that careful with the menu. <laughs> There's three things on it. Oh, you're gonna make me do it? Oh my god. They're gonna make me do the thing I just did. I look nervous. All we have on the train is a microwave. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. little quiz is in order. Uh oh. Which of these do we serve? I wish they had crab rangoons. I would eat one. Or five. What's a grilled picky? Is that an actual Sonic thing? Uh, a 
Picky is a creature that appears in the series. It's a pig. Close friends of Sonic the Hedgehog and his allies. Wait, and they're killing them and feeding them to people? I'm gonna raise hell about this. Questions about this universe. Ding ding, glad you can read. Thanks, bro. Look at him, he's a hunksicle. Isn't he dreamy? Apparently he's married though. But maybe he would that would just that would just get him off more. You know, taking us into a broom closet and you know, where's your drink? I have I was talking about it earlier. I have Starbucks oat milk cold brew. Uh, it's dark chocolate. I also have a bottle of water. I'm gonna drink both at the same time. Ah. What the vessel? This is a state-of-the-art high-speed smart train with all the latest gadgets. The train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. 32 years, that's... Well, that's... As old as I am. These free vents. Not a passenger train. Every time they have a, a split infinitive, I'm gonna take a screenshot and complain about it. The event. Murder Mystery Party. We funnel here into the dining car as a home base. You gather tickets after you're on your own. You do everything in your power. Everyone's taken care of. We can't afford to lose this job. Is that canonical? Is our character broke? That could factor into it. What if we're the murderer? I'll make you proud, sir. Coffee places ain't shit, so you make it at home. Yeah, that, I was talking about that. How, like, if it's the weekend and I don't want to go out and get coffee, usually I make coffee at home during the week, like when I'm working. I'll just do cheapo home brew. But I also have this cold bottle of refrigerated coffee, coffee esque. It's okay, it's labeled as a premium coffee beverage. It's like you just have a bottle of. Something coffee-ish. You don't want to go out. It's not too. Ex it's not expensive either. It's like five or six bucks for a big old thing. It's probably cheaper than Starbucks actual drinks. This is a very pretty pl train. Very pretty area. Oh my God! It's Amy Rose, and she has a cake in her hair with sticks of dynamite <laughs> sticking out of it. That's not Amy Rose, that's Tails. Oh my god. What fascinating tech. Apparently this is a technologically advanced train. Oh, and Vector from Sonic Heroes is here. I think you used to staying on a train like this. Well, too bad, because... Oh, it's Herbert. Well, I... that explains the cake. This train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Oh no, they're not they're not showing off her uh ballistics. This had the Gucci shades so that's on 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 brand. <laughs> Can't promise I won't take anything. Rouge is gonna steal all the nice silverware. Oh and he's got his fucking hat from uh Did he have it in arcade fight? He definitely had it in the, the movie, the first the OVA anime movie. Rock in the wild, yeah, we're in Florida. And Knucklehead, who's gonna steal a pen? Get a hold of yourself, Honor. You're sweating through your uniform, gross. 
Oh, can I get one of these chili dogs? Oh my god, it's Sonic the Hedgehog. His buttons are not colored inside the lines. <laughs> Radio. Why would I say arg? Don't say arg. I'll make you sound frustrated. Why aren't you friendly? Aw, oh, Sonic. Oh, I can't be normal. <laughs> I announce everyone's rolls. I should turn off the screenshot sound. It's gonna take a lot. I don't know how to though. Oh wait, there we go. You ever seen Croc? He was in a uh, Sonic Heroes. I'm sure some other games, that's the one I remember from. It's about that birthday girl will be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. She'll join me, Otter, you won't you? He's so cute, look at him. I hope he fucking kills everybody. Don't mind if I do. Those are for our guests, you know. And be sure Otter, you know, only gets one of those that they ask. Arm. Oh, the armed, armed is the killer. Actually, uh, train the conductor wants me to have the whole plate. Good try, young buck. Oh, he, see, he's, he's flirting with me. Train and I have worked together a long time. You'll have to work harder than that to get what you want. Drat, those snacks look tasty. You kind of want to know what they are. Oh my god, look, it's, oh, look at this guy. What is he wearing? <laughs> he looks like a fucking paper boy. <laughs> he looks like Tiny Tim. Here. <laughs> Thanks, everything's in order. Seems concerned. Anything that we can help you with? You sell gift bags. Oh. No, sadly, but I have a classic grocery bag in the back I could give you. That stare, brr, so cold. You need me to fetch your jacket? Tiny Tim, motherfucker. Talk to a uh, person whose name I forget. Top of it. Oh, it's Blaze, yeah. A princess such as myself must always be punctual. Whatever. You visiting from somewhere? Separate dimension, actually. Oh, what? I'm here for Amy's birthday, and I'll hop back to my own. I prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I admit I'm excited. You enjoy your stay, princess! Did I bow? Do I bow before? No. What are you doing? Please get up. I'm telling you, I get... Why can I not win with this group? See, and there's no question mark. I should... If you're gonna end on a double punctuation... What? Whoa! We can change the signage. Oh, that's neat. This music's giving me vibes of that one Sky Chase level, I think? I think it was? Bow, 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 bow. Yeah, that instrumentation. Hold on, I gotta look it up. I think it's this. Yeah, this one. I have my hand tracking, so you can't see me bust a move. It's just like supremely comfy. Wonderful music. Love you. I love the hat. 
Yeah, see, there it is. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> it's all fucked up. Knuckles, you clown. I don't want to argue with this guy. He'll beat me up with those... those fucking boxing gloves. I don't want to argue either. <laughs> oh, he's a grump. He's smiling here, but he's actually a grump. Alright, you, you little... <laughs> youngin. Alright, you little... You, you fucking twink. Right here, sir. Want a snack? It's me, I'm the snack. I travel, I pack my own sparkle gelatin. A sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. I turned the screenshot sound off, but it's still making it. Oh no, they're both bottoms. Brought my own sparkle gelatin with me too. Don't be nervous, you're doing great. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. Sin Dragon, hello. We're 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 being a slut. I'm kind of in my head's in the way. Where can I put my head where it won't be in the way? I'll be down here if anyone needs me. Whoa! Maybe I should be over here for the stream. Your bottom, yeah, we know. Don't worry, Sin. We're up flipping horizontal. Here, is that better? Now maybe people can actually read what's going on. Someone on this train is normal. What? He's like, fuck. This, this guy's a freak. Are you kidding me? He thinks Tails is normal. Look at this little guy. Tickets, please. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself aboard. I'm just gonna... How do I download a script of this and then edit it? I just like helping. Eggman took over. I truly feared the worst. My kids swore you would swoop in eventually, and you did. I can't offer much of my sincere gratitude. Is that is that lore? Is that from a game? Sonic the Hedgehog, capital T on the. Excellent, stay on our train, Sonic. Would they really use like as a uh, the is his middle name? Yeah, that's true. I suppose. As you say, would they really use like his species as like a like a superlative? This clown. What are you wearing? Was he a fucking fencer? Is he a swashbuckler? Is he a Casanova? Oh, he's oh he's pulling out a flower because he wants to be the one to seduce the the big Dilf conductor. Oh, he's so suave. Oh, he can read my mind. I study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Sounds like a lot of difficult training. Oh, he's connected to the morphogenetic field. They all have five fingers. Kind of weird. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. They have huge hands, so it's really weird. <laughs> can you cling to the walls? I most certainly can. Okay. This guy. What is he wearing? <laughs> Gentlemen of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. Oh, and okay, he, did he sneak up? Something I miss, uh. I have misplaced my ticket. Would you speak up? I misplaced my ticket, I don't know where it is. Don't worry, we'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. Yo, thanks, bro. <laughs> thanks a million. Why should- why are we looking for his ticket? Why would you get on a train without a ticket and just say like, Oh yeah, I, I lost it, go find it for me. Like, does that work? <laughs> if I just got on a train, I was like, Oh, my ticket's lost, go- go find it for me, conductor man. 
Amy Rose. Let me see. Birthday girl's ticket. Every time this pops up, like, I think there's gonna be, like, a... Like, a fake ticket, you know? Like, they're asking you to, like, look at the details. Maybe they'll come up later. Oh, there's a birthday discount. And a murder mystery train sounds exciting. Who loves a good true crime podcast? Oh, she gets off to, to hearing about people who were literally fucking brutally murdered and ripped to shreds and had their insides fucking stabbed 400 times. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna leave her alone. Oh, here, it's the, the weird semi-sentient arm has given you a mystery key. Oh my god. Oh, that's OP. She can get anywhere. That's kind of fucked up. Like, what trains... What train sections would be locked that you would have available to unlock with a skeleton key as, like, a, uh, I don't know, like a bonus, bonus thing? Like, is she gonna go, like, get into the kitchen and, like, just fucking cause havoc amongst the chefs? The toilets? Yeah, she can go to any toilet she wants. She can go to the machine room. And, like throw wrenches in the gears and like or like plant bombs blow the train up birthday girl gets the birthday key it's practically what what does that mean it's the key to tails's chastity device very useful I will you will use this wisely thank you see let let me fuck you. I want to fix the script so bad We talk to you yet? Well, hello, YouTube. What can I do for you? Can we get your ticket? <laughs> my, my, how forward. Let me fetch it for you. That could be anything else. See, yeah, I don't. None, none of these are like blatantly fake. Booba, yeah, she is. So that she does have the ballistics. So polite, very easy to talk to. I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. I have to kindly ask for that back. How did she do it from all the way over there? And he doesn't even, like, have pockets on this jacket. She's an expert. This was yours. Must have slipped out. Here you go. Text. Cake topper Sonic picked out for me. That's a good one. Bet you're right. Okay, but what do you want? Conductor isn't wearing pants. Oh, probably. Well, I don't think many of them are wearing pants. Tails definitely not. Knuckles is barely wearing anything. Sonic, no. Espio, no. This guy's in a shirt and, like, an apron. These two are actually dressed proper. Shadow's in only an apron. Rouge is wearing pants. Only the girls are dressed modestly. Everyone else is just hanging out with, with their wang out. Cake, okay. Don't bring a cake. Guess that was Sonic's job. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh, we fucked up. Turn to look at the wall. Talk to everyone, right? How do I move on? Oh, I'm looking for his ticket. I need to ticket as a napkin. So he he just showed up on the train. Without a ticket, and then we found one for him. This is so... that's so odd. I don't think that's how it works at all. Did I show him the menu? I'll start, I'll take one of each. <laughs> I'm 
Yo, go for it. Let's get him one of each. We'll get him a chili dog, one ramen, and one chicken cordon bleu. Really worried you'd kick me out. We were close. Got their hands full kicking you out. Are those blood spots on his, uh, on his apron thing? You're right, I wouldn't leave without a fight. Oh, he would have killed me. <laughs> they're, they're laughing about it. Microwave expert and security guard. Oh, we're all right in his book. That's cool. Time for me to read out everyone's roles for the murder mystery. Doctor's car. Remember our promise? What promise? Everyone's safe and enjoyable. Okay. Probably fine on their own. Just assist if you need help. I don't think that arm is very helpful. Must take my leave, everyone. We're about mucking up the pool. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> That means the train's gonna clean up after our our giant fuckfest orgy. Here, I wonder if I mute the overlay. I'll turn it on. Anybody else talk to me and yeah. Yep, 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 bye. I like that guy. Oh, Vector's into into that. Oh, the the outfit guy. That's why Tails is dressed like a like you know this. Lore cards for motivation. The nitty gritty for the Marine Mercy game. When someone's gonna be murdered, and everyone else is suspect. There's assigned roles. Participation is required for it is my birthday. The girl makes the rules. Sonic, you are a ship captain. You'll be stationed in the conductor car. Yeah, look at that hat. Oh, and I have my hat on today. I have my little sailor outfit. That's okay. Get a blazer like that. The the, the double button. Tails is a detective from the dining car. Oh, up. there you go. I got my captain's hat. I'm ready to, ready to captain some stuff. Indubitably. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. <laughs> it's in the saloon. Rouge is a business tycoon. Blaze is a titan of industry, and they're in the casino. There's none. No <laughs> different. Whatever. Factor's a butcher. Oh, that explains the blood all over his outfit. SBO's poet. Oh, okay, that's why he's dressed, uh, like, I don't know, Shakespeare. We get to hang out together. What, read? Make a tower of books. That was a locksmith. Hangs out in the lounge. <laughs> he's too cool for us. Journalist reporter. Gonna mosey around with everyone. Got it. Everyone's following their rules. It reminds me. Oh my god. Oh, this is a big map. Oh, do we get to do a loop? Maybe that's when the lights go out and Sonic gets murdered. Okay, so dining car, the saloon, the library. I wasn't paying attention. I think that's a library, the casino, and the lounge, and then the front of the car. Everyone's station is marked. There's a murderer amongst you all. A murderer can kill a single participant however they choose, but you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything. I include an interrogate. I'll set a timer for an hour. Alright. This is so exciting. A mystery unfolding right under our very noses. But didn't she write it? 
kind of scary. How thrilling! I have goosebumps. Let's we'll we'll be a. Uh, this is the more twinkish thing to say. Hills is nervous too. Oh look, he's so flustered. You should be out there mingling. Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. We're stuck here for an hour. We're going out and scoping out the place. The way there's always a neutral party. I don't. I mean, we can't, we can't discount them, can we? What if that's the twist? Does anyone else remember that episode of Bob's Burgers where I forget what they they were doing like a murder mystery, and uh, someone was trying to point out that like lying to the audience like isn't a twist, but then like eventually it ends up being a lie that is the twist, and that's like. <laughs> I just remember the mom being like, see, a lie can be a twist. Seems more excited. Not deciphering the mystery. What do you think everyone's doing? Well, did she write the mystery or did she not? I guess it, well, I don't know. I'm a little... Detective not being the murderer is agreed upon. Well, yeah, I mean... Maybe this will subvert expectations. Ooh, we'll see. Okay, so let's find each other. It has roles to play. Learn the characters. You know what their character motivations are, Amy. The lore cards are confidential. No one knows what the person who's reading. Yeah, but who wrote it? Who, who's that? Look, we have decided to... Should that be lowercase? That's not like a proper noun. I'm a nosy person turned journalist. <laughs> it's just Amy Rose, just like, I'm already nosy, I might as well be a journalist, right? I'm stuck on microwave duty. Uh oh. Oh, the train's moving! Oh, it's so fast! Oh, I'm slipping. Hold on. Ah. What happened? The train just take off super fast. Oh, look at him. Oh my god. Both awake. Yeah. Train slowed down considerably. Is everyone all right? <laughs> wow, how exhilarating. My head's spinning, but I'm okay. Knocked into the dining car's closet. Uh... Wait, where did we start? Oh, the captain's up there now. Oh, we start. Did we start in the back? Or did oh, we started in the dining room, so we're like one space behind. Such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth. We're 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 like locked into a in a closet after a, some kind of mishap. They're just so hype about it. Intended. It's my first day, so I'm not sure. I recall them warning me about this in the interview. Check on the others. Can we get the door? Yeah, it's blocked by this like bookcase thing. Oh fuck yeah! Does Amy have? <laughs> Well, okay, um, 50-50 on whether she'll actually have her Pico Pico hammer. You know, that's they call it hammer space for a reason. Oh, definitely not. <laughs> I didn't bring it. Oh, she definitely doesn't have it. I'll search over here. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Hiding something. I'm the detective, but all the best detectives have sidekicks and nerds. He's gonna need my help. Oh, okay, so we're the, the twink detectives. Let's do it. Their evidence and interrogate. Wait, this is when it's supposed to do the. Douche, douche, douche. Seek a way out. Be 
you hear me typing, because I'm looking for the exact video. I think I never find my video source. For Watson, yeah, Watson Watson was definitely a, a twink. Don't turn evil like your ex flicky companion did. Happy here, let's get searching. Oh, she's all fucked up. Look at her face. She's like she's up to no good. Oh, we can't look around or anything. Oh no, the microwave's open. How are they what about the food? Crash. Look <laughs> at his face. <laughs> all the art for this is really good. Very clean trash bin. Thanks, Tails. Blocks our ed exit, and we're all weak little babies, so we can't move it. And the shelf got smashed, because she's the one who did it. Or we should log it. I talked to her last, because she's suspicious as fuck. What floor sign? Keeping people alert and safe. Once I slipped on some spilled juice at the grocery store, no wet floor sign at all. Oh, and Sonic was there to catch me. Oh, he's so horny for Sonic. So fast he also slipped on the juice. <laughs> Slid into an older gentleman's shopping cart. for you. Get out of here, sure. Normally never make microwave meals I prefer to cook. My cast iron skill has gotten a lot of use lately. I mean cast iron pizza. Do you make pizza in a cast iron? Never heard of that. I guess it makes sense. Only had microwave lunches this week. <laughs> oh no. Next visual novel will be Twink Cooking School. Uh, okay, Amy, fess up. We found a spoon. If we find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Spoon inspecting is not up to snuff. Yeah, she doesn't look like she's handling the spoon inspection very well. Cast iron pizza works. I guess I'm just. Anytime I think of like cast iron, I think of like skillets, and those are usually pretty deep. Seems like it would be a pain in the ass, but I guess if it was, like, flat. Ourselves out on a train. Look at this. It's face is so funny there. <laughs> ah! I'll keep looking. I don't think we have enough evidence yet. What? I think we have plenty. Iron skill at the sides make it deep dish single serving vibes. Well, I'll leave that the art of the the iron skillet to. Oh, catch to something. We have a stick. Oh, the music switch. Oh my god. Ah! You accuse me on my own birthday? How dare you? 
stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? He was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? Oh. It's definitely this one, but we're gonna do the fun one. Not eating until it's birthday cake time. No one here other than you, Tails and I, and no one's dead. <laughs> also, they literally can't be murderers. I think you were sitting idly while we were knocked out. You attempted to escape. Prove it! Well, you broke your fucking hammer because I'm holding the stick and there's a big chunk missing out of the bookcase. And the correct piece of evidence, yep. We form our argument to fight back. This is complicated. Is this what Ace Attorney is like? Is this what Danganronpa is like? on the shelf is supposed to prove something. It fell over. Damage makes sense. You're grasping. <laughs> Dude, she's... <laughs> she's... She's making that face. I can't believe this. Oof. Now what? We follow this train of thought. Does the crack relate to Amy? What would Sonic do? <laughs> You'd probably slip and fall on something, according to your previous... See, they capitalized badniks. That's what I mean. Flicky was lowercase, like it was just a regular noun. But the bad guys are have like a proper noun. Isn't that weird? Like an endless runner game. I play a lot of those on my phone. Uh, sure. <laughs> Whatever. What would Sonic do? That's the worst idea. Sonic's a dumb fucking idiot. He wouldn't do this. He would probably just like... Run at the door and, like, you know, burst through it in, like, a Sonic-shaped silhouette. Oh, no. Oh, fuck me. Big jump. Oh, there it is. There's Sonic's one brain cell. We found it. Looking around for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me on a train this well kept that the damage was here before we arrived. Ah! Well, I. I think someone hit the shelf. What's the shelf hit with? This stick. I think a stick did this. Oh no, again? Oh, we have to think even harder. This is just uh, the bonus levels from Sonic 2, right? Da 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 something you could like, let's say, your hammer. Ah! Isn't a stick, is it? It's the handle to your Pico Pico hammer. Tried to hit it and you failed. The handle snapped right off. As you both said, I tried to get us all out with my hammer, but I failed. Give the shelf one big whack and the handle ripped right off. Yeah, you should probably, first of all, get that fixed. And also, your hammer shouldn't be losing those fights. Yeah, she's sorry about it. Yeah, why'd the hammer snap? That was a backup, okay. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Oh, detective, my dabble is a mechanic. D dabble is a mechanic is a, the understatement of a lifetime. 
Oh, he just magically fixed it. Okay. Okay, there it is. Smack. Okay. Now someone's definitely dead, right? Oh, the whole place is fucked up. Holy shit. There he is! <laughs> I love the... Okay, the spilled juice that looks like blood is like a great effect. Because, you know, they can't make him bloody. So the spill... The spill... That's actually really smart. The art department for this needs to win all kinds of awards. Because they knocked it out of the park. <laughs> Games begun on finding out who did this at once. He's so hype. Sonic fucking died. Oh, he's actually dead. Yeah. Body numb, can't move. Oh, he's been injected with body relaxant. He's he's been he took some horse tranquilizers. To rest. Are those wounds genuine? I don't sense a pulse. What in the world's going on? Oh, he actually—he's actually fucking dead. Okay, cool. Calm down. What do I do? We solved the mystery. These guests are incredibly round, which means they must be remarkably rich. They leave their care to you. Oh, I'm his favorite employee. Jump to Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this. You know, this is part of the game, I can't risk it. We're gonna keep everyone safe. Why don't we go, like, lay... Sonic down somewhere. Oh, this is festive. <laughs> Reward. <laughs> Wait, is Omachao like a criminal in this universe? Oh, they broke the arcade machine? What the hell happened? Reno, I'm over here. I think Amy's gone ahead. You need something. But Sonic is actually hurt. <laughs> Sonic hurt never. If he was hurt, he would have exploded into some rings. Also, yeah, it could have been a maybe Sonic was sipping a Bloody Mary when he died. Why not, right? Paired with a chili dog. Sonic doesn't go down so easily. Like Tails. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. We're all really committed to the mystery for Amy. Nothing to worry about. Promise. While Sonic likes to nap in a lot of strange spots. Deeper happening. Figure out what's going on. I'm pretty sure Sonic just actually wants a nap. Green rules say I gotta stay and watch after everyone. Oh, damn. Oh, he's calling me out. I'm great at reading people but me. This detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. If you catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because, uh, where's my lore card? The last guy to work with me ditched our practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Look at his face! This is very, like... This is very, like, 90s kind of anime style. I'm loving it. Proper detective without baggage. It's true. Ye varmints. <laughs> God damn it. What are ye all doing in my saloon? Knuckles are trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that, and Amy moseyed through and told me all about it. Cough. Enough of that. Why is the cough highlighted? Is he dying? Does he have tuberculosis? Oh, well, he kept the voice up for Amy. We're wondering if he could tell us what you were up to before the murder. We're gonna establish your alibi, and nope, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> Leave me alone. 
No better than to argue with Knuckles, so we're on our own. I'll argue with them. Alright. Investigate. Interrogate. Anything else is, is seen as hate. Whatever the lyrics to that one song. The tune free. Coliseum Highway Zone. Howdy partners. Robotic arms here. Yeah. Hello. Hello. See, always fuzzling my hair. What the fuck? How well can it microwave? <laughs> Oh no, I should fear him for my job. The bowl of assorted nuts. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh, Tails has eaten them. Someone licked all the salt off of the nuts. What? <laughs> or maybe they're just unsalted, yeah. Yeah, there's blood on this cup. Yeah, it's a lipstick, okay. It's not Knuckles' color at all. <laughs> That's not Knuckles' lipstick, it has to be someone else. Tails does not hesitate to stick the nuts into his mouth. <laughs> yeah, you had, to, you had to check how salty they were. Should log this. Yep, used cups. Someone, someone with lipstick was here. Train passes some incredible sights. Traveling at normal speed, I get nauseous pretty easily, and I have to avoid roller coasters. Likes running on the tracks more than riding in the cars. I feel like it'd be game. Super Monkey Ball try. Oh my god. Super Monkey Ball canonically exists in the Sonic universe. Yeah, Knuckles' lips are so kissable, so of course he has he has to have uh, lipstick on, I'm sure. Broke with the train sped of. Looks more like punches. <laughs> Sounds like Knuckles beat the shit out of the machine. What are you looking at me for? Okay, so he got drunk and then he beat up the machine. Something always being hit in the trash is flawed. Yeah, we're over two. Finding this robot. Yeah, why is Oma Chao like a criminal in this universe? Emerald red number forty-two semi gloss. Yep. Oh yeah, for and uh. Yeah, Knuckle Knuckles has definitely killed people. We have we have to. Yeah, what's up with this? Poor Omo Chao, hate to see them like this. What do they do? Medical malpractice? What? What? <laughs> Is he a doctor? What the fuck? Freaking Knuckles. I thought I told you, leave me alone. <laughs> I like your hat, please don't beat me up. <laughs> no promises. Knuckles, would you ever fight me? No, you bruise too easily. Wouldn't be fun. <laughs> I bruise easily too. Guess that wouldn't be fun to fight either. No, I'd fight you. <laughs> not actually gonna fight me, right? Take your order. I'm like a butler. Yeah, I'm a. No, I'm a butler. I'm like a little butler. I'm just a. I'm just a little butler. Butler guy, please don't beat me up. Oh. Uncle is blushing. Just your hat so you can see it better. It said leave. Uh oh. I told you to buzz off. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. Yeah, we have evidence. I know what happened.
He was getting drunk with someone with lipstick. Someone else with lipstick. Shame to see Super Monkey Ball in this state. Arcane Machine, what makes you think I touched it? Oh, damn it. Visual novel, check. Light gameplay elements, check. Oh god. Oh, you fall- you just insta-die. Holy crap. You are weak. Oh no! Okay, they're getting tricky. No! I can't hit space bar, I swear to god. <laughs> Get me out of here. It's not a tough one, Knuckles, you idiot. <laughs> Clearly touched the arcade machine because Super Monkey Ball is your favorite game. While Super Monkey Ball has adrenaline pumping Monkey Ball action. <laughs> this proves nothing about the current situation. Your hair was found at the scene. You fur? Fur? You mean spines? Completely touch the arcade machine because it's covered in punches. You're all staring at my hands for because they have big meaty knuckles. Are you know purposely failing so knuckles can keep calling him weak? Yeah, just you can keep calling me a butler. Why? You had a punching bag, none were available to me. Be preparing the arcade machine will give us our answer. How will you... Oh, he's gonna fix it, great. What? Oh no. Oh, he's gonna beat me up. Is this all a metaphor? Right now, Uncle's just beating the shit out of me. Oh, I hate isometric cameras, fuck! Ah. Tails, get away. <laughs> yeah, Tails, Tails is used to fixing balls. <laughs> he spent a lot of time with, with balls. Can handle this again. Oh, my God! Sorry, Tails, you're gonna have to spend more time with those balls. He just, <laughs> just immediately. No, don't look at the scores. <laughs> Quick. Oh, damn. Bagel candy, okay. Yeah, Vector beat his score by one. He's supposed to be in the library car. Holy shit. Maybe it was Vector's lips on <laughs> On on that glass. Get with Vector so you get the high score and Vector beat you. 
And in frustration, you destroyed the cabinet. Grr. Guessing, where's your proof? Vector is a common name. Prove to me he's here now. <laughs> it's not that common. It's like, I'm, I'm using the shadow as, like, reference to where I'm actually, like, standing, right? And that make, that's really hard to see. Is it actually Vector's lipstick? No! That was strange, there was more than one cup. You're supposed to be participating in the game. Vector enjoyed some drinks playing arcade. It's I'm it's not like Don't don't tell Amy. Wait, why? He could still do that and still be in character. Vector popped in at the top of the hour to play this with me. For the high score, I destroyed the machine after he beat me, and he didn't want to get caught. A lot of pride issues. <laughs> no joke. I'll explain some of the use. One of the use cups. Up with the lipstick. Rouge was in here too. Yep. Hers looks pink though. Ran for something but failed, made fun of our game and left. <laughs> Obnoxious, that one. He offered her a drink, apparently. I don't know why she showed up and I told you everything that happened. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Yeah, he is not chuckling. Thanks for answering so much of our question. Actually, on everything. The back to something I noticed. One more name on the list doesn't make sense. Was it Charmy? Or Candy? Oh, I thought. Okay, I got those mixed up. Old Red Ultim. Bagel Candy. But yeah, these are all just like food things except for Ultim. Here goes by Ultim. There's someone on here. Oh, it's the ult is it the ultimate life form? Yeah! <laughs> I know my lore. Shadow the Hedgehog. He's not even the ultimate life form. Get out of here. Bitch, you ain't no bio lizard. And I were struggling so much, but then Shadow dropped by. Got a shitty score. They're both very annoying. Yeah, that, that face is my favorite. It's so good. He's left. He's the second one. Oh, he's. Yeah, it's okay. I'm just t I'm just talking shit. Shadow deserves it. Lock the door, not open it, and he left. After he was leaving, I locked the door behind him. Amy came through. Did you open the door for her? Key. Yeah, she has the master key. Back in the library to cause Vector to come here. My shadow locking doors, and what was Rouge looking for? To brag about being number two. <laughs> Thank you for <laughs> thank, you, thank you for killing Sonic. You're welcome. <laughs> he, just, he fucking deserves it. Keep your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. Library is the next car. I'll open the lock for you. You whoever KO'd Sonic an earful for me, Detective Tails and Butler. Do sheriff, come on, Otter email. Let's head to the library. Let's, do, let's 
schmoozy. The fuck this is just look at that poster. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's my favorite. Some play I don't need. Oh, is that just him like emptying extra stuff we don't need? Okay, Amy's already here. Doesn't want to talk to us. I want to give you your presence. My presence? Ah! <laughs> Both too sweet. Mimi, there you are. You don't need help. What the heck? Because everyone's allowed to be sassy on their birthday. He's sassy 24-7. Pip is too juicy to ignore. I'll see you all around. Dang. I don't know. I think Tails might want that juicy tip. Sonic, I'll be the one to avenge you. He has the birthday key. Yeah. Remember? Oh, well, even there's a cake. Birthday privilege. Solve this case before anyone else. Bye. You can be hasty, but she's thorough. Yeah, we can't be the murderer. I'm the- I'm here to ask if anyone's- anyone want chili dog? Oh, he wants a chicken parm. Will, uh, will a cordon bleu help? That's base- that's just like... Isn't that also just chicken with cheese? Yeah, don't be talking about killing. How's this foot way up here? Vector the Butcher, I'm licensed to handle raw meat. Oh, don't worry. Tails, Tails is licensed to handle <laughs> to handle meat too. I'm sorry. This whole stream is just gonna be like, you know, like jokes about Tails. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is SB, SBO the poet, which is a okay. A resonant message from poet to reader, meant to challenge our delicate perspectives with the most rhythmic of prose. Can I hear some? Sure, uh... Eardrops in the spring. Can you hear me sing? La 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 la. D D D D D. Look at all these, oh, look at all these guys! Look, all the- all the chows. Oh my god. Ta I'm sorry, I'm taking like 20,000 screenshots because I just love this art so much. <laughs> it's not impressed. I have more if you like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. I'm satisfied for now, thanks. Right, yeah. Otterino and I are here to establish both of your alibis. There's a line in a in a or like a song, like a sample of a song that I like that I think is literally just a line: "Cherry blossoms in the spring." Kind of tempted to find it. Uh, apple tree in my backyard. Remixed by Abacus. I had to guess. Somewhere in the song, but I don't remember where. Find that later. That's interesting. That's his only line for poem number two. All right, let's focus on the adventure. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Yeah, everyone's gonna mention that they just explained all this shit to Amy because she's just in the next car doing uh, what we're doing <laughs> right now. 
Lily Shadow Song, I'll pass through this library car. Oh yeah, they are directly in the middle. The song you played was, uh, hold on. A tree in my backyard. Wherever it is, it's an eight minute song and it's in there somewhere. Blossoms in the spring. That was the exact line that Espio said for for his second poem. All right, everyone went through this library car. Well, me and Espio to stay. Oh, I gotta. It's off. Probably picked a book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Got bored, so we'll have to see what Knuckles is doing. Rouge, yeah, we saw her doing stuff. Just looking for something. I want to search this car. Came back after. She shouted, No way at the brochure stand. Oh, maybe she was shouting it at the poster. It's like, Hang in there, and she's like, I refuse to hang in there. New casino car. Shadow came through and locked the door. Why is... Yeah, what the heck? You know, car. And there's a library car. Locked the door behind him. Yeah, why is he locking doors? Isn't that weird? How does he even have the ability to lock that? I don't think they made it clear... Who, uh... Who all has keys to what? Unless I missed that part. Oh, AJ murdered Sonic. So chaotic. He's <laughs> chaotic. Guess I'll put Super Monkey Ball. I was so engrossed by the rolling monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. He must have gone through the library car to the casino car, locked the door, returned to the lounge car where he was meant to be. After he came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door of the saloon car, and we were stuck in the library. Yeah, how did he do that? <laughs> Got trapped here until Amy arrived asking questions. She told us someone murdered Sonic. It's locked door it seems Vector. SVO couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. If you return with any meat, I'll chop it up for ya. Thanks, bro. And he'll serenade us with poetry. Your alibi seems solid, but we should search for clues. And to prove what they're saying is true. If 
get to the bottom of this, Tails. Tails, you're an expert on bottoms, bottom things. <laughs> Anyways, H. Howe hangs precariously from a tree branch. Hang in there. Oh, look at I look, it's. <laughs> oh my God. Little child's hanging there if you see Jesus. Wings to fly to safety because choosing the hard way is often the most rewarding. That's beautiful. This child can stick to his principles and find strength that I can too. Sure, he does have wings, so what the hell? Is that Sammy Sonic fan? Brochures. Travel destination ideas like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, and blah blah blah. And a couple maps. The map of the library card. Huh. I love a good overhead map. Yo, same. Survival horror fan. That's <laughs> the best. Make this brochure about a cave, too. Look, there's stalactites. No. <laughs> Who gives a shit? Oh, this guy likes caves. Books on the ground. Wish we had time to pick them all up. I have no interest in such things. A lot of these were knocked out by the train speeding up, but Rouge pulled a lot of these out too, searching for something. How reckless! Vines are increasing, they're opening too far! It feels every empathy for everything. Proper bottom behavior. <laughs> Chaos Cola, check out the our book club. Why would a train have a book club? No one's gonna stay for very long. That's wow. Okay. Is that a pun on Gone Girl? That's quite a joke for a Sonic game. The arm's struggling to clean up the car. Just leave alone to its thing. Yeah, yeah. It's the world. I travel around much. The islands are fun, but I'd love to visit some of the countries. A lot of fun, wonderful people, da da da. Pagonia. Yeah, the conductor was going in there. Never seen I had a professor pickle. What? <laughs> Tell you everything about stuff. And he makes sandwiches. He yeah, thanks, Tails. This is clearly not Earth. I'm just. Yeah, Gone Girl was a 2014 American psychological thriller by David Fincher uh, with Ben Affleck and a whole bunch of other people. It's a David Fincher movie. <laughs> so if this is the Gone Gal, like that's a pretty bizarre, surprisingly adult joke for a Sonic April Fool's visual novel. Professor Pickle, yeah, the train conductor is going, going to Spagonia. Evil scientist Eggman, did he write it? Oh, it's his autobiography and recipe book. Who cares, I won't trust anything. <laughs> what? No, what's it say? Yeah, mate, what if I just want to make an omelet? Easy to read. All these books, but Sonic needs me. Peak wouldn't hurt. You know, some books have fallen out and everything, but every book on these shelves is in alphabetical order, but this one. Mirage Express Manual. Oh. Someone's fucking with the train. Interesting. Nope. Yep. Things always hidden in the trash. Apparently, something hidden in the next one for sure. Well, 
unconventional, and he likes that. Oh, shit. Bring you any meat to chop? Not yet. They confiscated the meat cleaver. <laughs> Vector, you fucking terrorist. Not a knife, but just a chef in a ketchup stained apron, not a butcher. If you had a knife, you'd definitely think you were the murderer. But what if I hid the knife? I'm not the <laughs> biggest fan of this line. Okay, whatever. I just wanted to say hi. I'll find something for him to chop. Sleep. Ah, oh, there's been a murder. Library card from my saloon car. Shadow left the library card. He locked the store on his way out. I have questions though. Are all the are all the cars supposed to be locked or unlocked? Like at the very beginning of all this? It's weird. Like I didn't think they were all like locked into their rooms. And if shadows locking train cars, like what the fuck? You can just save, cool. Oh, it's almost 420. Are you there? What? Oh, I'm off. I'm off duty. Oh, just show the menu to me. I didn't- I didn't mean to tease him. I'll go microwave you a chili dog. <laughs> You've made a fool of me. Two- two dots. Made- <laughs> made him a fool. <laughs> oh, I'm the fool. Yeah! Yeah. Damn, everyone's talking shit. Maybe you don't believe us, eh? You have a proper detective without examining the validity of your alibis. You confirm two things. Why Vector left to go play his knuckles if Espio really was reading in the library card. Okay, Vector, why'd you leave the library card of his knuckles? But, uh, it's easy, I got bored. What? <laughs> yeah, Espio wasn't entertaining enough. We're instructed to mingle. I remember the arcade machine in the saloon car, so I figured check it out. Attention to you, Espio. You just entered the library car, found something and left. Start reading. Were you actually reading the entire time? Of course he was. Since Espio starts reading, it doesn't stop till it's done. What was the book? What? Why are you covering for him, Vector? I have a hunch on what that book might be. Oh, I know. This is one that's out of order. A manual? Argument can you possibly have to support this? Oh, here we go. Oh, four. Four wide. Okay, I see. Oh, I didn't think I would hit that. Oh! What's that mean? The remaining books on shelves are all in alphabetical order. Except for this manual. 
lack of attention isn't normally like you, SBO. I won't have you insulting my pal like this. But you're gonna poet. Friendship can form anywhere. Trains are cool, says SBO. Got some questions, da da da. Uh oh. What efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping a train spotless? Robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes. Arms can also detect weapons or explosives. Make sure of safety. Da da da. Cancellation policy. No refunds and you'll be charged a no-show fee. Does not apply if you're over the age of 65. What? For the conductor duties and ease general train obligations. Intelligent data processing system. Working in tandem with the conductor. It's an autopilot, but it can't access its full speed of capabilities without a conductor. Did I say no? <laughs> say it, but no. Just goofing you past. <laughs> I completed your test with ease. All my efforts were only to please, but you joked and japed the no to my face. Now I wish you were riddled with fleas. Damn! I forgot owned. I've been cursed. Yeah, you're in the manual. You had the nerve to question my buddy. We want to be supporting folks who read. <laughs> the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if it's true. I was the only one to see me reading after all. My alibi is hard to substantiate despite being the truth. Is that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading? Correct. <laughs> Problem officer. I don't believe that can be true. Be shadow. Shadow would have seen him reading. I guess. Oh, damn it. I haven't seen how much the spike strips take from you. Gotta walk through here, da da da. Yep. Yeah, that's not that's besides the point, Vector. Crocs are natural gamers. There's a, that's a good quote. SPO City saw a shadow in the car. Mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. Mentioned that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, SPO is fully seated reading this book. No shadow had to walk back through the car. Why does this matter though? Simple slip up. Fully immersed in my book, I had no shadow. Well, I, you see. You didn't see shadow returning from the saloon car to lock all the doors. But were you really in the library car at all? Yeah, but how would he have left? What is Shadow's role again? He's a uh, he's not he's not Tiny Tim. He's not a he's not a newspaper barker on a street corner in the 1800s, even though he looks like it. I forget what his actual uh, role was. I don't know if that's like saved anywhere. Mm 
in the lounge, but I forget what he's supposed to be doing. Gotta believe me. The vault of my book and into a shadow pass back through the car, honest. Becker returned to even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. I must avenge my friend's death, so I'll ask you again. If you weren't there for Shadow to see reading, then how'd you leave the library car? I wasn't. I didn't. Oh no. If I betray Tails, then you'll hate me forever. Let's do it. <laughs> There's a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. Piece of evidence shows Shadow and SVO can see one another. He was reading over here. Is that like a bookcase? So they want you to get your thoughts in order and then present you with like a high stress platforming situation. <laughs> this is like the opposite. Espio and Shadow couldn't see one another. Yeah, over here. Right, I was reading my book. I can second this. I turned from the saloon car. Espio was in the same spot. Damn, we just owned Tails. He's gonna be so mad at us. Only Shadow could see Espio or vice versa. Grasping this fight, telling the truth. I'm glad you all believe me now. Go for answering all our questions. That doesn't feel validated, still. <laughs> Where's going to bed? Spio's going to bed. No, talk to the Vector. Need any meat chopped up, say the word. A murder is on the loose while doors keep getting locked. Tick tock goes the clock while our heroes are in the caboose. You wanna stay look at all the great books longer? Mystery time. Let me take a quick breather. It's been two hours just to... Oh my god, I love him. Look at that mustache. Are you sure you are? We have a lot to say to you. In every car so far, everyone said they've seen you wondering about. It's time to tell us why. Point part of you. Look, I'm gonna, before we get into this, because I'm gonna forget it all, I'll, I'm gonna take my quick little break, Reno, and I will be back very shortly.
Okay, and back. Welcome. Yep. We're back to interrogating the microwave master. Everyone's talking shit about me. Oh my god. Hills is right. Folks have brought you up a lot. Can you explain? Colin Rouge, we need the help. Heading for a treasure room to be rumored to be stored on the train. This is Tycoon Part Purveyor of Fine Collectibles. I knew I had to find it. I don't want to do this, The Fabergé Chow Egg. Oh my god. Oh, that's so cool. Sound extravagant. Don't tell me you accepted Amy's birthday invite only to find that egg. A woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's taken care of. Roast me in on the hunt immediately. <laughs> I deduce that the Fabergé Chow Egg is here in this car, locked in the safe. And what did you find? Oh my god. Found the blueprints in the car with the safe code written right on it. Finders keepers, sweetheart. Oh my god. Problem. The elevator behind the security guard leads us to the room holding the egg. We can't get anywhere without the guard's access card. We plan to use the elevator. So you want us, including me, who is a hired uh you know employee of this train to help you steal something from it. Yeah, Blaze thinks it's a fine business venture. Her lore card must be influencing her decisions here. Or she just or she just thinks it's fun. Do you have an opinion? Stealing is for squares. Time for a five finger discount. I mean I personally vouch for this one, but I feel like in character, maybe maybe my character thinks stealing is for squares. This is what all the rich people who steal things want everyone else to think. Oh, please not, or you know, you know let's get the get the egg. <laughs> See, we, we were so quick to convert Tails. Now he's gonna be a criminal with us. Oh my god, they have a blackboard? Look at them. Oh, look at the little scrunkos. Locked all their door. Guy has the card. Do we attack, bribe, or distract? <laughs> you son of a bitch, I'm in. Let's. Well, we... Let's do the worst one. Let's keep violence to a minimum. <laughs> Probably can't bribe him, but. I have a pair of tweezers. There's a trading card. And she won't give me shit. Alright, Rouge, you're gonna have to be the distraction. All charming enough for him to work, sure. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take a compliment. Who's distracting the security guard? Absolutely Rouge. Is this my feminine charm? She, she's gonna shake her titties in his face. I knew it. Flight might prove useful. I'm not sure you being a distraction makes sense. Okay, then we'll have Tails do it, and Tails is gonna shake that fat ass. I don't like the way he said that veto. <laughs> Delivery was shaky. He's too shy. Oh my god, look at him. In my life, I've never let a single person down, okay? 
What is the distraction? Ask him about his partner and kids? That's fucked up. People love talking about themselves. This will easily distract the guard. Look at the little... <laughs> He's got a wallet with all his little... His, little, his weird little chow family. Oh, that was... Damn it, I was hoping that wasn't the right... I want to see all the dialogue. Rouge will get the card by picking their pocket, but let's grab them. I'll just tie them up to a rafter. <laughs> Naive, innocent soul. Yeah, they're talking shit now. anything else if you can help it <laughs> no promises we got the car we gotta get the blaze out of there honor you know what's the plan pretend you're blaze's spouse oh she's gonna be so mad you'd be marrying into the royal family what's your heritage any war crimes i should know about there's the line uh you dress far too plain you need refashioning give up too easily. Push him over. Start crying and bring unwanted attention. Drink without a coaster. Absolutely vile. Nothing worse. Despicable. I would deliver never allow such a thing in my kingdom. Guard will go running immediately. And in the elevator, uh, pop some apple cider. Oh, I that was right. Okay. Mechanical arms. High five each of them. You know those arms are claws, we're not touching them. And her, <laughs> her high fives are to be cherished. And Tails would die. Tie them into a big knot. Perfect. I can tie a knot, but I have to sing a little song while I do it. <laughs> make Tails do something about it. I'm just so charmed by these old drawings. They're so great. Uh, cry and hope they sympathize. Oh, it worked somehow? Okay. Plan is perfect. Where does an elevator go on a train, anyways? Oh, wait, we did it. That's it? Oh my god. I got that Fabergé egg. What about all the gold bars? Possibly storing in all these. Gems and gold and rings. Alright, let's hit the code. Here we go, 401. I wonder if that's like, like, that's what, April 23rd, 2001? Hold on, now I have to know. Oh, hang on. 
2D platformers, 3D platformers. Yeah, that's around the time of Sonic Adventure 2. Not an exact date, though. For anyone wondering. Here, oh my god, it's... Fabergé. Hiding, what's in there? Oh, so we should open it right now, and then maybe we'll die. Yeah, I thought all Fabergé eggs could be opened. Look, there's... Some... There's where it hinges. <laughs> oh boy. All the music change. Oh, oh. Someone lived to tell the egg's secret because each egg is a bomb. You're on something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. Let's dispose of it. Let's put it back in the safe. Oh my god. Take one for the team. Eat the egg. Rouge kiss the egg. Chaos control the egg away. Take one for the team. Here, give it to me. Get as far away from me as possible. Just remember he's my <laughs> remember me as I am a hero. <laughs> That's just what they want. Who are we to... <laughs> the microwave kid's not gonna sacrifice himself. The body's far too scrawny to contain any sort of blast. Okay, Rouge, you're gonna have to kiss it. Of always prevails. Oh, she did it. What a prude. Oh, it didn't help. There's wires to cut. Eat the egg. Not without any salt. I just noticed the ticking is synced to the music. Isn't that great? It'd be a lot more grating if it wasn't. Let's top on it. Smash it. Rocket to sleep. This cranky needs a nap. <laughs> yes. Everyone's mad at the idea guy. Cool the bomb down with your tails like a fan. Okay, that did not help. <laughs> Stomp on it. Just how I like my eggs smooshed. Not. Okay. Blaze, set it on fire. I think fire would neutralize the blasts. You just like to say things, don't you? <laughs> He's talking shit. Tell the egg to stop. Did not help. I can't believe I just did that. Let it finish. Goes the bomb. That's our goal. The egg isn't a bomb. If you're onto something, so you didn't say something interesting when we quizzed him about the manual. Arms perform tasks, they clean up trash and stuff. Also detect weapons or explosives. Robot arms seem to have a lot of functions. A bomb was brought on disguised as this egg. The arms would have detected it. Unlikely the conductor would do anything about it. No, I, I like my. I thought the actual answer might be to like put it back in the safe and then lock it because if it's gonna blow up, then that's probably the best place to have it. 
Okay, we wait. Yeah, they could still put it in there. They should. It opened. Ah, oh, we're smart. Oh my god, it's a little bling. A little bling dude. Final secret. A chow covered in gems. It's like that Furby in, uh... What was it? In, uh, Uncut Gems. He's ruling. Wow. It's stunning. Fill this all the secret. I wonder why if the egg wasn't a bomb. They weren't as tough as us. Who cares? Okay, good. We stole the egg. I don't suspect anything. The guard's back. Oh, the guard didn't notice us come out? Stealing was strangely fun. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, she doesn't give a shit about what we're doing. About those blueprints. What? I want to see it. Yeah, back to the murder mystery. We also have just so much suspicion about Shadow. Wait, no, we haven't done anything in here. Look at all this shit. Versatile. This one's gambling for some reason. What's in here? Oh. Aw, oh, my dad told me that when he met my mother, he would drive to her work two hours away every Tuesday with a flower from his garden. He agreed to a date. When she arrived at the restaurant, she found two dozen roses. A year that you were married. It's about caring, dedication, and persistence. All that's in the bin is a lollipop stick. Let me, that's a, maybe that's a clue. Lollipops aren't on the menu. Yes. I'm laughing. If you keep playing, we're gonna win eventually. No, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different outcome, right? Starting to get worried here. You heard of the sunk cost fallacy. See, it's doing the 999 thing. Have you ever heard of morphogenetic field theory? phenomenon whereby a person is reluctant to abandon a strategy of or course of action because they've invested heavily in it, even when it's clear that abandonment would be more beneficial. Of course I've heard of it. Maybe money. Eye tails.
All right. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, we can't talk to the little, the little dude. Robotnik. Oh, he's behind all of this. The evil scientist. Blue Poker I've personally seen has had Eggman on it, so I'm not surprised to see it here. Oh, there's a, a crane machine. Eggman's built a lot of casinos to run around in. He's never actually sat down in one. That's why Blackjack. I must have been Sonic. No, let's play fucking Oldham. Alright, let's go find Shadow and blame him for all of our problems. Gem. Look at all the little guys. Oh my god. I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking these doors. It's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons. The reason's convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Like the Iron Chef as well. <laughs> god damn. Everyone, everyone's, like, just fucking ripping on me so hard. I can't believe this. <laughs> what you say when your microwave chili dog is delicious. Yeah, why are you locking doors? I'm saying a thing. You lot will have to tell me why. You lot. <laughs> Appointment coming up. What? Indubitably. Amy, what the fuck? Yeah, give us some fucking clues. Sharing is caring, please. Journalist reporter Amy Rose is always first to reveal a scoop. I'm ready to challenge Shadow, talk to him, then I'll be ready. Cake first, dinner after. Otherwise, I'll get full on dinner and can't have any cake. Take a beat. Music plant zone. Oh, that sounds cool. Big chow man. Look at these guys. Why do you make that face? Spiritual, okay. When something falls out or leaps out, Tails must open it. Alright, tough love, I get it. Ah! Not oh, sweaters. Boo! Look at those big ass boots. God, I wish I could remember what his actual, what Shadow's like actual role was supposed to be. Yeah, keys. Oh, he's a locksmith. Okay, gotcha. Only two keys. Only. We... Didn't someone? Someone had the other one separated. The robot arm. Can you tell the robot arm to do anything? No, but I'll give it a shot. Robotic arm. Can you bring me a cold chaos cola? Nope. I can run and get a cola for you. Yeah, she has her own. Oh, yeah, Knuckles had a key. Yeah, I could have sworn uh, Vector or Espio might have handed me one. Or they might have just shown the key that they used to unlock 
his lock or something. Whoa, oh, it's big. We'll hop out and take a dip in the ocean. Despite the murder lingering <laughs> in the air. Launch the computer, complete with the internet access for casual browsing. How lovely. Shame to be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views, though. You think you probably really need it? Well, sometimes it'd be like that. Look in the trash. Yeah, look in the trash. Look in the trash. Ah! Paper. Now the front page of a ticket website for the band Hot Honey. Amy's favorites. Giant, giant gem in the middle. Surprisingly tricky to use. Whoa! Sing of the song. I'll see him row a boat. We had a printer work when you wanted it to. Yeah, they like, oh, there's a shark. bad because take your order oh coffee time a coffee on a train there's no better combination okay why would you put marshmallows in a coffee Give me a high five. Ghost of Narnia, sweet. Where's it going? Oh, a secret passage to the library. Which skips the casino. And only the casino. Passage is in the inventory, okay. Hmm. Whiteman. Locking every door and oh Amy knows why. Pray tell, why would I do that? 
All right, give us the scoop. According to the map, next car is the conductor's car. This door. Only door that leads to the conductor's car, right? Shadow is locking the doors for one reason, one reason only to keep Sonic from escaping. I think Shadow's trapping Sonic. Oh, she thinks he locked the conductor's car and then locked all the other cars just so it wasn't suspect. <laughs> you all get out. Oh, she has an anonymous source that claims they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? He was trapped and couldn't leave. Reckless speculation. Shadow did lock the door of the conductor's car to imprison Sonic. How was he found in the dining car? You can explain the car change. Well, okay, real quick. Yeah, even if he got to the library, how would he have gotten through the saloon without anyone seeing him? I'm still gonna hit this, but I'm not entirely sure it stands up. Oh my god. Wait, what? The jump button didn't work. Weird. Passage in the wardrobe that leads to the library car. A secret passage, yeah. Someone could have used a passage, snuck into the library car. Oh, because they were distracted by the arcade. Okay, sure. Drive at the dining car. The shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor car, but then thought the crime scene being so close to the station was suspicious. Picked up Sonic, locked the door, dropped the body off at the dining car. Using Shadow of Murder? I am, but of course it's just a theory. I don't have any evidence other than my hot scoop. Alright, if Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, yeah, how did Espio and Vector not see him? Espio well, both of these are true. Let's start with that. Yo is behind a bookshelf reading. He's lying. I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at wherever that game I left the saloon car. I've been some time looking for Espio, but he wasn't there. Not in the library car. Well, they didn't see each other. Give him a key. How do locksmith give away his keys? Yeah, <laughs> he's been giving away a shit ton of keys. Everyone has one except us. Passing out keys. Yeah, see, there's only two keys left on the ring. That'd be, what, the conductor car and then one other for some reason? Oh, and he has his own, okay.
Dado didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? Keep including me too. <laughs> Has everyone today given you a birthday present? Just everyone. Except for Shadow and Sonic. Just them being here is enough. She killed Sonic because he didn't give her a present. And Shadow walked through every train car locking the exits, and he gave everyone stationed in the cars a key. For Yumi and Amy. Give Amy your birthday key, not Shadow. How do you lock all the doors and not give us a key? It seems like a reasonable explanation if he just locked them all just to make sure that everyone couldn't move freely through the train. Because otherwise, like, it could be anyone doing anything, right? Wanna keep us away. Well, he also wouldn't have been able to find us. Well, when did he pass out keys, though? We were knocked out in the closet for a while. Yeah, Amy, you and I started in the dining car. Could have given us keys if he wanted to. I think Shadow's trying to keep Amy away. What? Excuse me? Dad, I would never do that. It's my birthday. You do know it's my birthday, right? <laughs> How dare. I was trying to keep me away. Prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? like a screenshot of a ticket page for a band that Amy likes. Oh, is he trying to keep her away because he was like buying that last minute? This is a would be a great reason. <laughs> Been rooting through the trash, yeah, it always works out. Honey, Ticket Town. Ah, oh, this is Hot Honey's website. I love them. The band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is my favorite. Where's that B after that? I haven't gone to any of their shows yet to see them, though. Tickets are hard to get. Call it minutes, da da Why is this paper found in the train car Shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox! <laughs> Damn, that's a line. The printout exists because... I'm definitely gonna start with this one. But I do think... That was what I was saying before. It's like he was buying tickets last minute because he forgot or something. Leave now. <laughs> ah, damn it. Dado, is this true? Are you trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get tickets for your birthday. Use that printer earlier. I find it difficult to manage. The homepage by accident. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. Fill everything, Shadow. The cat's out of the bag. I want to know everything. Well, detective's job. Yeah, we were in the surprise. When I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift except for me. Worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming and saw the computer. Amy had never seen Hot Honey live, looked it up, so I accidentally printed the homepage. Concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. 
Oh, and that's the appointment. Yep. Purchased the tickets yet, and we had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. <laughs> and out keys, so they get in and out, telling him not to let anyone through. Didn't work. We still managed to make it here. Yeah, did Shadow not know about that? I thought everyone knew about it. Well-known privilege. <laughs> And he's a victim of Ticketmaster shenanigans. Yeah, isn't that fucked up? Didn't know about the, the birthday skeleton key. Your gesture is so sweet. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later and to make up to you, you can come with me. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. Yeah, I can't wait. Happy birthday, Amy. Blame my source for all this. That wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow is behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter down the drain. Yeah, who is the source? What? You can tell us. Tails knows. Oh, now Shadow's hanging out too. down Sonic's murderer for good. I'm gonna miss these guys. when he was a little, a little guy. The dining car. Yeah, it's part of the mystery. Oh, look at him sitting there all cool. Joe in your hand, wife, fireside, paradise. He loves his wife. He's a wife man. He's a, or, uh, he's a wife guy. The doctor looks so young in his uniform. Or, yeah, for 32 years. Head to Swagonia with his wife. And may any future sorrow be fleeting. What's that? Darts. Oh, it looks okay. Blow dart. Oh. <laughs> Point shadow. Someone brought a weapon onto this train. That's right, the train detects any weapons a passenger before laying them on board. Make note of this. Maybe they just used a straw. And yeah, that's true. He could be he could be he's like a pipe. Screens, they show information and ads. Happy birthday, Amy, that's so cute. And then an ad for nasal medication. A microphone, we can talk for the whole train. Beatboxing. <laughs> She's mad. It's impressive, audio. Thank you for sharing. Being in the trash. No, we gotta check. Damn it. Oh, shit. How creepy. I should break it out. It's creepy. Yeah, what's up with that? Confrontation. Yeah, what the hell? You have clues already? What about this thing? Can't access every function like the conductor. I would completely trust you to drive the train tails. Yeah, sure. 
Oh, guys. Odd, we haven't seen the conductor. Means quick speed up is odd, and we currently don't know where he is. Oh, is it time? Sure. <laughs> Hey everyone, this is the birthday girl speaking. Please report to the conductor car at once. Are all the doors unlocked at this point? Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect. With assistance from Otterino. Hector. Can you come with me to get Sonic? You must still be pretending to be dead, lazy bum. Tell you, darling, this has been a delight. Light. The air in here is so intense, I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. There are so many amenities I feel so catered to. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself with the amusement of a chase. I see why you're a detective outside of this mystery, SBO. I mean, I, on this train, I am a humble poet. He's really left him for dead back there. Yeah, he's actually just like bleeding out in the in like a closet somewhere. Escape rooms. Ooh. Tails canonically confirmed to like escape rooms. What in the world? It's him, he's actually fucking dead. Yes! Sonic! Hurt, why isn't he moving? There's a pulse that's weak. Yeah, he's actually fucking dead. Now, he's gonna make him a chili dog and then he's gonna wake back up. <laughs> There's some shit like that. <laughs> I know it's coming. I knew one of you would take this too far. Which one of you did this to Sonic? <laughs> oh, she's gonna kill somebody. It really have been one of us. There's no one else here, Knuckles. Let's see again, which one of you did this? She's like fucking creepy like this, I love it. He's the most normally dressed character. He has a cowboy hat and, love, and a fucking bandana. He's a sheriff. Blaze probably actually just wears that. Espio probably <laughs> actually just wears that. Tails definitely. Look at his tiny hat. Oh my god. The two hats next to each other. Yeah, we were talking about that. The from the OVA movies. I'm Knuckles. I'm Sonic's best friend. I'm going to expose the monster who did this. Everyone else is gonna help. What happened in this room? I love like the the like creepy eyeshadow kind of thing. He really was hurt this whole time and I did nothing. Didn't I'm pretty sure he said he just needed a nap or some shit like that. She snapped. Yeah, she's she's in the what's the TV trope page? I think it's like the like the insanity of Event Horizon. Now I have to know. <laughs> Sanity slippage. No, what's the? Amy's absolutely responsible, I believe it. Ugh, I'd, I'd have to find the page.
the, the final moment where there's no going back. Trial by murder a la Danganronpa, I wish. Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Oh my god, they're making us guess. I feel like Amy would be like the most obvious. It's definitely Amy. <laughs> let's just let's just do it. That can't be right. Neither Tails nor I can be the murderer. What? So, well, like, you'd play outside the rules. Let's go back. I need to, let's look at the map. I wonder if that up. Here's where everyone was. Shadow the locksmith snuck into here and then made it to here. Oh, I, oh yeah, you, can't, you guys can't see my mouse, but... Shadow could have gone to the library and then to the saloon and then killed Sonic, but... Yeah, Espio... Espio's a chameleon, and chameleons have, have cloaking abilities, right? It's totally SVO. Um, if it was Blazer Rouge, like, we didn't even inspect the casino car at all, so that'd be weird. Knuckles and Vector kind of have each other's, so I'm just gonna... Just for fun. Whoa. You were the one to murder Sonic, weren't you? Ah! Uh, uh, I did no such thing, my young friends. If it's a battle of wits you wish, I'll discuss things. You're accusing Espio. We already talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing. Yeah, that's true. Vector was very protective of Espio early, earlier. Watch the library card reading. You only had access to the saloon card during the murder. Because... Oh yeah, because I think Knuckles let Vector back through or something. Whatever, Vector went back here to play video games. Maybe that's when SBO did it. Events come to light, that needs to be addressed. Well, this, this does make it seem suspect, like I did mention. I mentioned that, but... In passage, I think is also important. Just because it's access from the library forward into the car. So while Shadow was playing, either playing video games or screwing around over here or whatever, SBO could have gone further up. The left library, anything is tells me I found a hidden passage. The lounge, the hidden passages, and the wardrobe. As we would have avoided locked doors, I would put him in the car just before this one. Oh yeah, and he was also reading a train manual, so he would know about the secret passageway. Get all your questions without flaws. Reading the entire time, remember? Here you didn't miss a question, but I think Otterino can explain that. Yeah, because he read it. Because he's a ninja or because he's a poet? I think it's because he's a poet. Wait, the reader. Random book from shelf and memorized it. No, that's not why. He read the whole fucking thing. So he could use that information to get forward in the train. Well, he wants to better read a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. <laughs> I'm right. He quickly memorized a book before entering the hidden passage. Could have met Sonic in the conductor's car where he was murdered. What was I to know about the hidden passage? They, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The book he memorized was the manual. Who 
We don't need evidence. We don't like he he was reading the train manual. The information would be in there. Damn it. He's gonna show us something later. I don't remember that. One of these two? Oh, she had the blueprints. Okay. This is a scout for treasures. Came up cold. Blueprint to the whole train. Yo could have used this to find the hidden passage. Yeah, like, I don't understand why this. If, like, there's a train manual that he was reading, why is, that, why is this whole thing a point of contention? Did SV over make it to that train? Whatever. Code included with the, these blueprints I thought was odd. They belong to the conductor. Just swipe the blueprints, found out about the passage, and stuffed them somewhere. They discovered the blueprints in the library car. Wait, did she? Guidelines for murder can kill a single person's fit however they choose. Logistics are vague, but Otterino and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. It's rich, pray tell. I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? Uh, with a blow dart? Uh oh. What Sonic do? He would jump around and collect rings. Dumb. Okay, okay, okay. Not for real. Found here. Dude, let's knock Sonic unconscious. This is mean. Yeah, of course he's knocked out. He's and he's banged up because he was in the. I don't know. He fell off the table when the train stopped or something. First fatal flaw. I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car. And how's Sonic trying on the dining car? Locked the doors. SP didn't have a key. Would have had to take the hidden passage back. Does that help? No. <laughs> Take the secret passage to get the dining car. Oh, 
Wait, so you went on the on top of the train? Oh my god. Long attic. What? A ninja would do that? Yeah. The vent. Oh my gosh. My word, there's a path back there and a track. Track for the robot arms. I'm gonna fit with Sonic in that vent and took him to the dining car. Those are smart kids. I know you realize we both couldn't fit up there. On earth do I get Sonic through the vent? Does this help? He ripped out a robot arm to make room. Seventy rings is so many. I think we started with like twenty, or like having to get twenty. Oh, I fucked that up. Ah, damn it. Just a little short. out when his arms is a casualty. What if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? The arm could have grabbed Sonic passed out from a blow dart here into the dining car. Might have been between Sonic and the robot arms. <laughs> Why would that happen? These are a lot of coincidences. One inconsistency. Why would they pass? Why would they like drag him to the dining cart? Receive false information. I believe that information came from Espio. Well, most of the information would have gone through Vector, right? Uh, okay. Oh, the hot scoop. Oh, like he he was the source. Hale's right, Espio lied to me. The shadows locking doors to trap Sonic. Hmm. It's not Amy, you must have misheard. I said, uh, Sonic's going to get trapped with all these locked doors. This is looking out for my fellow passenger safety. Events might not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree, you want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time? You were stationed in the room with a hidden passage? Gah! Now you're lying to me on my birthday of all days. <laughs> she pulls out the fucking hammer. Okay, the murderer used the train's controls to move Sonic from the conductor car to the dining car. He lied to Amy, casting further blame on Shadow. Uh, caused doubt and confusion. Only been one person. Oh my god. This is there's the the ace attorney. You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh my god, he's alive. Hey guys. All the mystery. Espio was the murderer. <laughs> oh, here's what Here's what happened. Jumped me in the conductor car. Dang it, you got me. A blood heart, though, really? 
for a while. Great, I could use a nap. That's what he was saying. Tapio left me there. I mean, what was the important? The train's a bad Nick. A what now? Need to lie back down. Well, we only need to get off this train. We're not safe. Grab the conductor car. The conductor's already here. Oh, it's the conductor evil. Seen it. But look, we realize the train's powered by a flicky. Hey, it's a little guy. One person twist enough to use a flicky as a power source. Dr. Eggman. And the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The conductor was describing it. It's more than a simple bad Nick. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. I was seeing my shoulder. was pulled out from SPO. That fucking, like, him just leaning there with that look on his face is so funny. Oh, evil hands. Oh, and they got the conductor. Dash through robot arm, slice it off. More robot arms, and the conductor screamed, and blah blah blah. Then he died. Oh no. Something to admit. I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Yeah, we know. The situation's gotten serious. Why would you not just tell us? Cause that's how the games work, duh. Shoot someone with a blow dart and then they die. This make believe. No one should get hit with a blow dart. <laughs> Following the rules. B uses blow dart on Sonic. Station in the conductor car. It's laced with a non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you for choosing the Mirage Express. Staff. The arms handed it to me. Train itself. Yeah, something creepy's going on. Train itself is plotting something. Tampering in our murder mystery game. Yeah, it's fucked up. Train. <laughs> Come out and show yourself. It's my birthday and I don't need you messing with it. Now she's kicking the wall. Train can have it. Oh, everyone's just gonna beat up the train. Uh oh. Oh, it got evil eyes. Uh oh. Oh, it's the conductor. Oh, he's so cute, though. Oof, oof. Don't touch him. Of course I can talk. You fools were too distracted playing your little game to figure it out. Right, what are you plotting? I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base. Uh-oh. <laughs> Where you will rot. <laughs> Deliver your annoying party right to his egg fortress. Annoying? Conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games, ride the open rails like we always planned. You enough. Train speed up speed. Everyone grab something. Why would they invite Sonic on board, like, in the first place? He's just gonna fuck everything up. Sonic! <laughs> Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. Ah. Uh... Sound like a rubber ball hitting hitting someone in the face. Evidence fell out of my pockets. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's a really funny line. 
Oh no, the evidence fell out of my pockets. Now everything's gone, right? Yeah. Hello? Oh, it's Sonic. Hi. Oh, he called me Bud. We're friends. And train arms throw us back into the dining car. Yeah, did everyone get separated? I'm doing amazing! Share some of that enthusiasm with me, bro. My bearings take a look around. Yo, give me that hat. And also that jacket. Oh, I gotta explain the lore. It's a party. Yeah, kind of. It's ready to go. We gotta find a way out of here. Robot arms. It swiped at me. <laughs> Train's mad at us, yep. Uh, okay. Hello, Glow. Ah, it's Eggman. Oh my god! Oh, I love him! Oh, fuck yeah. Responding to me. Got some nerve showing up here, Egghead. Oh, you spiky blue pest seems you've finally taken passage on one of my passenger trains. You own the train? Who the heck are you? Don't talk to me. <laughs> he's, he's such a shithead. I love him. Apparently, I didn't talk about you in my interview. My involvement isn't well known, civilian. The infrastructure in your town is just once in cutting it. If I were to build an Eggman land, these problems would need sorting out. I courageously got involved. Converted some cargo trains into passenger trains for the sake of the public. It's just more useful for future schemes. Another death egg doctor predictable. People fear giant spheres, it's science! Alright, where is everybody? Uh, the friends were all locked in the cars they were stationed in. Yeah, was, like he separated us, okay. Do you not know this is happening? Heavens no, I'm only now getting caught up. I'm far too busy to notice what a passenger train is up to. Oh, look at these little guys! Look at this lore, oh my gosh. The luxury train, I want to be sure things ran without my supervision. They report to me if any, if any of you happen to board. The train's capability of intellectual thought is extraordinary. A feat only accomplished by my genius. After is notable, you're on a train that desires nothing more than to deliver you all to me. That's the thinking. I need to manufacture motivation beyond programming. I like to make my badniks compete against one another from time to time. I instituted a bounty on my army. First to capture you pathetic creatures gets a generous reward. My robots ask for something like my autograph or whatever, but a highly intelligent train it may ask for something more interesting. Alright, are you done blabbering? <laughs> yeah, he's 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 gone off on a little bit of a tangent. Dragging my base, you'll regret the day you ever crossed me, hedgehog. Yada yada, chow, okay. I always know something to get under my skin. Tough, the train is the motivation, and being made by Eggman is powerful. And we're all separated. Sonic was hurt, the conductor's captured. I've been more assertive earlier. Dang. Uh. How should we beat ourselves up? Let's do, uh... Am I at fault here? I knew Sonic was hurt all along. I couldn't keep it in. Hey, I can tell the situation's getting to you. Yeah, the road's getting tough. It's easy to question the decisions that got you here. But when negative thoughts hit you, you let it pass and keep living. You're helping me think through this before I do something rash. Because I'm one of those leap before you think guys. There's the conductor's car before the train arrives at Eggman's base. Doors have been fortified. What would you do? <laughs> Entire day tells it I haven't been asking ourselves what would Sonic do, so what would you do? It's 
speed through head on and rescue our friends. Da da da. I was gonna say, just just attack it with brute force, of course. Oh, it worked. I didn't think it would work. Could have just done that first. Oh my gosh. You guys here are in extremely spoiler territory. <laughs> just as a heads up. Uh, as you can see, our, our attempt at murdering Sonic uh, didn't quite go as planned. What were we doing? How, how have you been? What, what, was, what were you up to? Dead Rising? Oh, good call. I never played two. Oh man, I gotta... I gotta add those back to the... the back line. <laughs> like he was pants, oh no. Well... Hey, at least... at least, uh... At least the zombie adventure pulled out. Anamonium, thank you very much for the 30 sub. For 58 months, you're creeping up on the 5 years. That's incredible. Thank you so much. Yeah, just... One last rem uh, sort of reminder that we're, we're deep in spoiler territory. This isn't a super long game. It's three hours in, and we're probably pretty close to the end. So we're uh, we're deep in it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, kind of a last call for anyone who doesn't want to get spoiled. Uh, here we are. music. Whoop. Just in time for me to interrupt it. Here's the menu. Here's all the food we could make if we were ever going to make food, which we haven't. That, that's my, my, my anti-spoiler delay. Now we will be continuing. Oh god, I have to do something. Friends are locked in cars up ahead. Got my ring cap, gave me an extra boost of speed. Grab enough rings, I should feel fast enough to burst through the door. This is the typical uh, visual novel with light gameplay elements sometimes. We've been doing these the whole time. <laughs> Crap. Some of these are hard. Saved Knuckles. Do we have to keep going? Oh my god, we have to keep going. Spio and Vector. Or where's he off the stupid train? Oh, now we're in the casino car, so we get the casino background. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even notice that. Oh, shit. <laughs> I beefed it. Yeah, the art direction for this game overall has been fantastic.
Blaze and Rouge back. I thought you were supposed to be fat, Sonic. Earthbound background? Oh, for sure. Look how woobly they are. Whoa. Let's boogie. You got it. Now we're in the... The locksmith area? Oh, the, this is the lounge, right? Oh, this is where the, the music stuff was. Oh, shit. I'll double shit. No, I'm fucked. Oh, never mind. When they give you more room for... for failure... Oh, it's Amy and Tails in the conductor's car. Let's go kick, kick some ass. Oh, the precision. How does he do it? You're here. Don't we treat the birthday girl? Eh, yeah, nice to get the zinger. We gotta stop this train. Oh, so do we have one more? Do we have a final boss? Evil train. But we're trapping these pests now. Hurry to me. Just properly dispose of them to give my plans for Eggman Land. And probably another death egg. Don't teleport us to the future, what? Future when I've already ruled the planet. Uh, look, everyone's giving me a look like I'm an idiot. Sure, I'll do that, whatever. Go to Eggman. Don't just make me train, hurry it up. I will not fail, my wish will be granted. Bounty, yeah, what is the bounty? I wanna know, they better tell us. <laughs> I must get my wish. Does it want legs? I will not fail. We're gonna fight this robot hand. Hey, what do we do? Ooh, oh, this is sick. Easy. No, you could possibly understand. You promised to be together our whole lives. How could he just leave me like it was nothing? Oh, he he wants to marry the conductor. Is the robot the conductor's wife? Wait, where did they confirm that? We knew he has a wife. Tiring, you have to accept that. I wish we'll keep us together forever. That's what being friends is all about. I can't force someone to be friends with you, that's messed up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> These robot hands are like zombies. Man, can you hear me? My wish, my wish! Make the conductor never leave me. Let us be friends forever! The kind of friends would never leave each other. Why would he betray me? Why not just take the train to Spagonia? Like if I had a if I had a train who was a best friend. Like just, just come, come live on this resort, land with me. Oh gosh. Oh, I missed a lot. They did not mean to lease. <laughs> there he is, conductor. There's that big, the big Dilf conductor. Talk about. Cup of Joe in my hand, wife by my side. Oh, uh. That'd be an interesting twist. I didn't. I guess I didn't get that implication from it, but that's an interesting way to, <laughs> to 
construe that. Rain, stop this. When I told you we'd be with each other forever, I was a much younger man. I'm getting old and tired. Excuses, how dare you abandon me? I'll be lonely, so lonely. Why must you insist loneliness upon me? No, stop. What are you doing? Please don't make me do this. Oh, this is creepy. Love it. <laughs> Should I rescue the conductor if we ever want to stop this train? We're still going. Oh, shit. Let's not take those jump pads. They're... Oh, wait. I was... I... <laughs> The rest of that sentence was going to be, they're usually not worth it, because they make you jump way too far. I didn't realize the gaps had gotten that big. See, like this one. You can just jump. You can get more rings that way. He's shooting shit. Shit. Oh, oh we're in the clear. Get out of here. Is that just one hit? Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a little flicky! Yay! Look at him going! <laughs> Look at the little guy. Yeah, flicky. It's like the lore card where my ex-best friend left detective work to join Mr. Eggman. It really is a bad nick. Stakes rise every second. Let's show our full power. 85 rings! Jumps too late to avoid the pit or the the spikes. And that launched me right into a pit. is just like the, the Sonic bonus levels. Fuck, you gotta be really careful when you jump. It's like, it's it's a huge commitment. I say as I jump slightly too early and then fall into a pit. <laughs> First try. Must be delivered to Eggman already. What about my happiness? Your happiness comes at the expense of others. Last I checked, that's called being selfish. Be selfish? How dare you? A hundred rings. Is this the final, final round? Oh my god, these have these escalated so much. Oh, I jumped, damn it. <laughs> it's moving so fast. many. How 
proper final boss. Oh no! Ah, that last hit. Oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta lean left for the beginning. Let's get hit by that one. Ah, okay. This is a challenge. Always get hit there. Oh my gosh. Oh, those are worth 10? I didn't think they'd be worth that many. Okay, so if you hit the the right spring, uh, you can't go all the way to the left. You don't have that much horizontal movement. I gotta stop trying that. So screwed. Oh. Oh, clutch. Oh, he. I'm the clutch man. Earned. No, no, no. Oh. I'll get a little guy. All the art in this game is so good. Oh! Ooh! It's over. I had to pay for ruining my birthday. Oh, she fucking killed it. Holy shit. Ah. <laughs> what the fuck? Get her. Easy. The train's slowing down. Great hit, Amy. That's pretty great, wasn't it? I get when you mess with my special day. Doctor. Ah! I, I just couldn't bear to see you go. I'm sorry for the trouble. Here's done, let's get off this thing. Thank you. Goodbye, my friend. I may be leaving the rails, but I assure you I'll never forget our time together. That's a fucked up train. Yeah, look, his hand's huge! You don't get to see his tail. It's just a silhouette. We did it! Trying like that before. This universe has a unique way of doing things. Okay, everyone watch your step. Mystery of Sonic's murder is over. Oh, see, there's there's the wife. I've been waiting here for hours. Honestly, never believe what happens, so I won't even try. Fa ha 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 ha. I'm 
It's glad you're here. Quick, we leave for Spagoni in the morning and we need to pack. Pack faster in the wind. I need this vacation. Something terrible. I need you home. Happy first day of retirement, dear. As for me, I'm gonna go home and sleep with my wife. Old friend, oh yeah, it's a flicky. Or a cutie, that's for sure. The bird. What the hell is this? It's, it's Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic, everyone, I apologize for the trouble I caused. Don't be. It's fine, it was just a game. It's all good. Hard to get close to you otherwise, Mr. Speedo Sound. Mr. Blow Dart Man. The official Sega Pro. Yeah, it's their April Fool's release. A nice, comfy, four hour visual novel with light gameplay elements. Yeah, Tails is doing detective shit. Station as a bakery. Look what I bought with a bunch of H's for some reason. Ah, birthday cake. And it somehow it even has her face on it all of a sudden, even though he just bought it. Look at all these. Look at this cool ass art. To so the confident, unshakable, and radiant Amy Rose. The little, the little chow with the. Glasses and the mustache is fucking great. Do an adventure of a birthday, darling. Ride from start to finish. Oh god, SBO. I admire your tenacity. May you never lose your vivacity. Happy birthday to Amy and her sparkling personacity. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic alive because the murder wasn't murderous enough. It was a sleepy dart instead of a neurotoxin dart, unfortunately. Okay, but what about the train? Oh, oh my god, look at his little. Oh my god, Metal Sonic. Train's never making it here, is it? Orvat, prepare a bath. <laughs> Ooh, little rubber duck. Angry. Grr. Shut it. That's how I met Sonic. Okay, entangled in their lives for a fleeting moment. Stick with the gig. I went to space. Won a million dollars and went to space. <laughs> oh, Lord of the Salt, you get a free tier one sub from here, Emma. Emma, thank you very much for gifting a sub. It is much appreciated. Just in time to celebrate our victory. Now let's see who did the the editing for the writing. If I can slap him on the wrist. Ian Muchler. I have I have I have words for you, sir. <laughs> Eric Omega. Gamage. Original soundtrack. Music special thanks to Jun Senoe. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. 
but he's the composer for a lot of the other games. Playtesters, that should have included me so I could help fix her scripts. <laughs> Brian Handy. He gets a special thanks for being so handy. Bouncer Chow and director of Brian. Director of Lore. Associate manager of Lore? What is that? Dang. Gory Van Thong. Armand Luigi Ventura Alpus. There's so many names. Social media. Katie Kurzanowski. I feel like, wasn't that like the director of the game itself? Sales, but this game is free. How long are these gonna be? Is this gonna be like fucking Ubisoft games? Are they just, they're gonna start listing like the like everyone who works at Sega or any division of Sega? Legal and business affairs. Can you imagine what if their senior counsel of legal affairs was also like the the social media manager or something? <laughs> oh my gosh, even more. Special thanks. That's like more people than in their regular credits. Yeah, it, it, it was a short one, but I, I appreciate that. It was a nice three and a half hour one off. Big the cat, the dog. Great cats outside Justin's house. <laughs> the April Fool's Day. That was fun. This is a great little production. They did a great job. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> there would never be the murder of Mario. Like, they would never allow their, like, character to be, like, publicized like that. You know, it's like how uh, Disney's, like, super iron grip with how their characters are, like, presented. I think Nintendo's, like, a super, super, super small step down from that, but still, like... Super like hardcore like oh you can't like show you can't show Mario doing this or this or this that might be construed as not not family friendly or whatever. Luigi could die yeah everyone's ever that's well that's a given. No one gives a shit about Luigi. <laughs> okay all right I had my fun. This is a great game like. Highly recommend if anyone needs to kill three hours of playing some comfy stuff. Uh, yeah. In the meantime, gosh, who is who is up and at it tonight?